Good day. My name is Ugochuku Ukwebu. I'm a session lead with the ALX Udacity Cloud Developer Nano Degree Program. And uh, this video is a second part of a walkthrough video for project four, develop and deploy serverless app. In the first part of this walkthrough series, we set up our application we wrote a test function and we deployed the serverless app to AWS. We tested it and it was working fine. In this second part of the walkthrough videos, we'll be implementing the authentication function for our serverless application. So let's get right into it. All right, so sticking with our project instructions, we, in the backend section, we've, this is the structure, code structure of the application. Uh, we see the to-dos where we're going to implement the features necessary for the full working of the project. So let's start with the auth function. So let's, uh, get to our code base. All right, last time we tested, we're on the dev branch. So in between then and now, I've committed and I've pushed to GitHub. So let me uh, git uh, create a new feature branch. for our authentication function. Okay, let's, what did I do wrong there? Git. Okay, git checkout first. All right there. So um, we've, we've changed the name of our organization there so we can delete that line. Uh, so back to, authentication function. So in the first parts of the, we commented out the function so that we can just test this hello uh, function. So let's uncomment this. Let's make that save. Then we go to our auth o authorizer. If you remember, if you recall in the first part of the videos, I renamed it to a text file so it doesn't compile so that we could test the app we could deploy and test the app successfully. All right, so let's get down to uh, the auto authorizer. Uh, if I go to scrolling from the beginning, we see that the to-do tells us that uh, we need to provide a URL that can be used to download a certificate that can be used to verify JWT token signature. To get this URL, you need to, you need to go to an auth old page, auth zero page, show advanced settings, endpoints, JSON web key set, right? So um, if you need referencing for this part of the um, exercise of this um, section that was treated, the way it was treated in the classroom, just go to authentication, uh, lesson nine. I think it's the, the topic there was handling auth zero JWT token. So let's get to, let's get to it. Uh, so I have my, I've opened my account with JWT token, and um, this is my application section. So uh, if you haven't dead done, you just go there. You have your, of course, I'm sure you should have your own Auth0 um, accounts from your participation with the class exercises. You create your application. I've done that, and I named my Udacity C4 project C, right? So that loads. So let me just, do a quick one of the what I what I did here. Of course, it's a React app, right? So let's let's get back to it. It's a React application. Uh, it's a React application. Okay, I think I've I've already said that. It's a React application. So we come to settings. Uh, of course, the usual things. Don't forget to. Your allowed callback URLs is HTTP localhost 3000 forward slash callback. 
and then you allowed web origins localhost 3000 and then uh you scroll down to you can increase your id token expiration time uh then you scroll down to the advanced settings so click on advanced settings uh zero auth make sure you pick the jwc uh rs256 signature algorithm i think the exercise in the exercises we treated hs256 but um, for the project where we asked to use rs256 uh uncheck this box the oidc conformant radio button and then save your changes scroll back up a little bit the endpoint section uh we see this um J json web key set so let's copy that but that's required for our project so let's go back to our code base that's what we need to you know saving that um gwks url variable uh then we implement that so basically things have been set up for us it's just for us to complete the uh the the to do sections of the auth authorizer file uh, we see how this is set up we try to authorize a user then we get into a try try catch block we try to verify token so let's scroll down to verify the right implement it. So this is the verify token. So we have it to do there, right? So first of all, um, we get the token from the auth header. Uh, we decode the token, right, as a JWT, right? And then let's get to implement that. Complete the to-do task that we have to do. So, of course, we start with this. Uh, we make use of our Axios library. We get that. Uh, get our response. We get the keys from the data. Yeah. So, of course, to reference what I'm doing, just read more about it on that um, blog link there, odd0.com um, slash navigating RS256 and JWT keys. The job, the JWKS, right? So uh, we'll have that. So from the keys, we get our signing keys. Uh, of course, uh, I want to. Okay, let me try to do this here in this line keys dot find. All right, yeah. Key. Okay, that's what we need. Uh, first of all, let me do a logger. Yeah, yeah. If not signing keys, that's what I want to do. Throw a new error. Yep. And close that. Then uh, how to get my PEM data? Yep. Uh, so I'll do Yeah, that's what I want to get. Then let me uh, convert to PEM. Let's set. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. Then I verify my token. Return verify token as um two R six. Yep, as a payload. Uh, okay. I think I like to do this first. Uh. Call verify token. Let's go to that. Yep, I like to do that there. Let me do a logo that in full. 
then return verified token. Okay, so that's what I want. So I think I can delete this line here. All right, so um, I think I, I, I believe I've completed my to do here. So basically, let me do a quick walkthrough. Uh, okay, let me try. Let me let me put what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, I'm trying trying to verify token. Just creating logs. Const get token. Uh, from the head header. Get response. Implement that. And um, let me save that. Right. So that's pretty much what I need to do. So basically, I guess if you just follow this blog, right, the instructions, the steps I followed are from there. Uh, get a response, get the axios, get the keys, find the particular key, compare with what I, I'm getting from my JWT header.kit. If it's fine, get the signing keys, get the certificate, and then verify it. And then return verified token if it's verified. Uh, if it's successful, then uh, we've implemented, then you know we'll, the user will be allowed to get into our application. So I save that. Um, Better real experts. And uh, that's pretty much what we need to do to implement our authentication on this part. Uh, later, we're still going to um, use it on the rest of all our, on the remaining functions that we have, the get to do's, create to do's. So let's do a git, git status, git add all, uh, git commit. Okay, let's, let me call it. Okay. All right, so let me try to deploy my application. Okay, so it's finally running.
All right. So um, that deployed successfully. Just um, going to look a little bit. All right, just um, reviewing the endpoints that we got back from there. All right, so that's good. So um, that's the authentication part for our application. Uh, one thing I'd like to do that would help in the login part too at this point, I think I just want to add something here. Uh, this would is going to help my login, my okay, that's fine. Check that out. So um, this is the authentication part for the application. Of course, we've not tested it, right? Uh, we're going to test. We'll get to test it when we begin to implement the. Uh, all that to do handlers. Uh, let's let's get down to it. Let me see. We we'll, we'll get to test how it works when we begin to implement our get to dos, uh, create to dos, and then the other functions. Right. So I think um, so that's this part of this. That's it for this second part of the walkthrough videos. And uh, we'll continue shortly with um, the third part, implementing the create to do's and the get to do's function. Join me there. Once again, my name is Ugo Chuku Ukwebu, session lead with the ALX Udacity Cloud Developer Program. Catch you in the next video series.